Praise be to Jesus. Hi, everyone. Oh, so we're going to get back to doing the news here. So first, we want to pray for our prayer intention for today, which comes from Patty. And it's for her, uh, his sister's husband, Martin, who has cancer. And I hope all of you pray along with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, what's going on here? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see here. Well-known Catholic politicians, academic, academics, media personalities, and activists are asking Congress to investigate Catholic relief services for a violation of U.S. federal policy forbidding aid money from going to organizations which advocate for abortion. Campaign organizers and endorsers are calling upon Catholics and pro-lifers without the throughout the United States to go to and it has a link there and a petition and I, I signed the petition. This comes from the Lepanto Institute which is been investigating Catholic Relief Services oh, for quite some time, I would say well over a year. And they've turned up all kinds of things. Um, I remember um, they turned up some stuff about um, uh, children being taught, um, you know, at a very er uh, young age about um, bisexuality and um, you know, uh, male marriage and um, um, sexuality that, you know, they're really way too young to be um, be made aware of these things, you know, it's like you're stealing their childhood. So, I mean, it's a good petition. I, I mean, I think so. I signed it. All right, so... Cardinal Burke decries distortion of sacraments during pandemic, loss of the sense of sacred. First communion at home, hosts in plastic bags, and distribution of the Eucharist using plastic gloves are manipulations the Cardinal emphasized. Well, you know, you, you, I mean, I see Satan written all over, not only this, but you know, all this stuff with the gloves and the masks and, um, you know, there's one story um, that it said it was meant to be funny, but there's a priest standing about 10 feet away from a woman holding a baby at a baptism and he's using a water pistol. Um, you know, I mean, it's just ridiculous, uh, you know, the, the sense of the sacred is totally lost. It's really, uh, boy, our, um, our church is in such bad shape. 
There, another bad story. A new book commissioned by the Austrian bishops argue that homosexual relationships come from God, revealing God's goodness and humanity. <laughs> the book calls upon the church to change her teaching against homosexuality and to bless homosexual relationships. Eh, what are you going to say? All right, let's go here. Distributing Holy Communion with gloves amid the cor uh, coronavirus pandemic is sacrilegious, according to Monsignor Nicola Bucks, a theologian who worked as a uh, consultant to the Vatican for many years. Yeah, I mean, I don't get it. You know, you know this net, this net, this next story is just. Uh, it, it shows you how twisted um, people's minds are, and again, it's Satan written all over. Sydney, this story here. Sydney Archdiocese launched a petition asking that churches be allowed to open. Okay. Presently, there's an obviously double standard. Archbishop Anthony Fisher, 60, explained on Facebook.com May 27th that it makes no sense that a bus that stops outside St. Mary's Cathedral can have more people in it than the cathedral itself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just crazy. Sydney Cathedral has 2,600 square meters. The average size of a city bus is 37 square meters, which makes a bus 70 times smaller than the cathedral. And it also makes no sense that people have to sign in when they enter the cathedral, but not when they enter the cafe across the road. Well, there's another story here. I didn't put it down, but um, uh, French churches are opening. Excuse me. Um, and um, I think, you know, here and there, um, you know, churches are starting to open. But I still think that by the time the vast majority would get to open. I, I think the um, the next virus, a more serious virus, is going to come. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out what a um, what Christ meant by a short uh, summer season. And if you think of summer, of course, you know, there's a couple of different ways of looking at this. One way is to look from um, Memorial Day to Labor Day. So, Memorial Day. So that's J June, July, and August. The other way to look at it is what really summer is considered, which starts on June um, 21st. So that's three weeks later, and then it goes to September 21st. But regardless, you know, I, I would say a short, summer season would probably be one-third of the season. Um, so I would say that would be a month into the season. So I would say between the end of June and the middle of July, I believe the next virus is going to hit, which is going to be way worse than this one. And after that, things are just going to get worse. So, um, you know, whatever churches reopen between now and when the next virus hits, which is would be between four and six weeks, um, then, you know, I mean, that's going to be it. I mean, that's going to be it. If you can get to mass or to confession um, in the next four to six weeks, um, you know, that'd be good, especially confession, um, but also to receive the Eucharist, you know, um, 
you know, I mean, Chicago is still closed down, so I mean, I, there's nothing going on here. Uh, so, I think that's about all I want to say uh, for right now. Uh, okay, well, let me put the camera back on so I can see all of you. Okay, bye.